hello everyone so today we are going to work on this uh, how to update the AI mode that means offensive or defensive for the characters that are spawned in the runtime through the spawners and uh, here in this example the red characters are offensive yellow characters are defensive so that's why as you can see here these red characters are all uh, they are spawned in this side of the map but they are always running come running here to engage in the fight with these yellow characters but the yellow characters uh, always try to stay away from these red characters while fighting at them so they are taking a defensive stance so yeah that's basically what's happening here so that's what we are going to work on today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support all right so last time we implemented offensive and defensive mods for ai characters so any character that we have already placed in the world we can set the AI mod to whatever we need but the problem is what if that character is spawned in the runtime by maybe a spawner so we have spawners in this uh, already implemented so if I spawn a character they uh, in the runtime they will only have the default AI mod which is at the moment offensive so what I want to do is when we spawn using a spawn also there should be a way to change the AI mod and also there should be a way to change the AI mod in the runtime as well so if I change this AI mod in the runtime for the character that should be changed for the AI controller as well so what's the best way to do that um, right first let's open the LSA controller and this is where we set the AI mode from the control port we get the AI mode and update this blackboard value so without doing it in that way let me add another function in the CLM BPI AI controller update Now, let me cut this part and call update AI mode. From set. And here on the interface, we can implement this update AI mode. Basically, it should do the same thing like this from the control port we get the AI mode and then update the blackboard value right now we do need a similar function in the character as well in order to update characters AI mode from an external place like the BP spawn. So for that, let's go to the NPC and under class settings, see we have CLM BPI NPC. And let me add again add a function called update AI mode. This time um 
as an input I let so that we can set it now let's implement this here We can set the AI mode with the given value and the AI controller. Get controller. This should work. And call update AI mode throw this uh, CLM BPI and PC so no not that update AI mode throw this CLM BPI AI controller so that the blackboard value also will be updated now we can use this event to update the characters uh, AI mode from the spawner or if later on if we need some other place we can use it from any other place too so where do we spawner character no, right here actually this is his spawn actor okay so from this pond actor uh, before we spawn the default controller we can call update AI mode With this NPC interface and as the AI mode uh, we can have a variable here in the spawner AI mode so yeah now for, uh, let me make this public so now for each spawner I can set it to be either offensive or defensive so I'll make the red characters which uh, no this is yellow character this is a red character I'll make the red characters wait this is yellow let me put yellow characters into this side and uh, red characters into this side of the map right now i leave red characters as offensive which is the default value and yellow characters as defensive right now let's test and see so these characters they are uh, by default in the level they are all offensive uh, but uh, the newly spawned characters the yellow characters will be defensive and the red characters will be offensive so initially when they hear the noises they do come to check on what happened but once they see an enemy see now these yellow characters uh, tr uh, try to stay in this area these red characters 
a comment to the comment to this area see none of the yellow characters are here all of them uh, stick around the locations that they are spawned so actually they are trying to move away from the red characters that's what uh, what's happening here but when the red characters are spawned they are directly come running here uh, to engage in the fight right so yeah that's how it is done and i'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available in the patreon page for the download link could be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye